Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we will continue with Dicta Paulises, the tragical history of Dicta Paulises, which is written by Christopher Malla. And today we are dealing or discussing Scene number three, which is a kind of continuation for Scene number one and Scene number two, representing the break between them. So here we have Dicta Paulises enter alone enters alone and now he is ready to conjure the spirits as we know at the end of scene number one that dictator Faustus learned all the styles the ways the methods of conjuring the spirits and now he is ready to conjure now dictator Faustus is alone in the dark or in the night and now he he brought his tools with Valdez and Cornelius told him and he brought with him uh, the means of magic and he is ready for uh, uttering his incantation. Incantation means the spells he will utter to call up in the spirits. Now he started practicing the way of incantations. He draw circles, okay, he draw the name or he writes the name, he writes the name of God. Okay, he writes many words, forward, backward, and incrementized, abbreviated names of all signs, figures, uh, characters, signs, planets, and so on. And now the Faust is very resolute, very confirmed to do magic, and now he is uttering the incantations and calling up in the name of Mephistopheles. So in this scene we have the appearance of another character who is Mephistopheles and here it comes to your mind that there is one major question. They give the character sketch of Mephistopheles or who is Mephistopheles. So to understand each character, uh, I can show you how the way you understand each character in this play by drawing uh, a character interview. Okay. So here you have two columns. On the first column you have what is uh, in your mind, what do you want to ask about this character and you have here the, the the answer for the question. So the character name Mephistopheles, scene of appearance, he appeared in scene number three when Faustus conjured the devil for the first time. Now for every character we have description. We have a portrayal for the character. And the portrayal I wrote in this scene, in the third scene because in everything there is always a kind of a change so only in this scene because there is always a change of the character so we will note that here you write the, the description of this character so let's go back and then we draw the description so here entrance of Mephistopheles and now the top house is very afraid from the shape of from the shape of Mephistopheles so the first adjective he describes is too ugly okay now Dr. Faustus you can't put here okay now Mephistopheles is too ugly at the beginning okay. now Dr. Faustus is commanding him to go and to change his shape into an old Franciscan friar which here it's a kind of a harsh attack toward the Christianity and toward uh, Jesus follower. Okay. So here he said that both of them, that the holy shape, I mean Franciscan friars and okay, both of them they do the practice of uh, what the devil do uh, or sorry does. So that the, the Christian people or the people of the church 
they are similar to the liberal. Now Mephistopheles immediately, without any uttering any words, he just went out and he is ready to change his shape. Now, here Dr. Faust, since he felt victorious, very proud of himself and what he did, now he starts looking for Mephistopheles totally different. He is not ugly anymore. He is plain. Okay, in this. And full of obedience and humility. Okay. Now, Dr. Faustus, he called himself as Kanjira Lord. Okay, it means the father of magic and he is the father of all European magicians and of all the world magicians. Okay, now he is commanding Mephistopheles and Mephistopheles he changed. Now we can put in here, we can put the adjectives, okay, which is okay, plain, obedient, simple, okay. So now you can add more and more and when you want to talk about, you can just expand um, these words because these words are a key words, very important for your explanation and which is which has a very uh, direct reference into the text now we have Mephistopheles appeared as a Franciscan friar and now we have a conversation a dialogue between Dr. Faustus and Mephistopheles now Dr. Faustus uh, he is commanding him or from the beginning he start telling him his conditions okay that Mephistopheles should wait upon the level of Victor Faustus okay and he will be under his command and he will be his servant now you can also draw the, the from the dialogue here you draw the characteristics of Mephistopheles. So Mephistopheles is answering him that he is not the servant of Dr. Faust and he cannot be so, but he is the servant of Lucifer. Okay, so you can put here also a servant of Lucifer and you can put here whatever you want. Okay, and here also you can answer the questions. Also you can do the same, same like character and review for whom? For Lucifer. Okay. We have here another character introduced. His name is Lucifer. Okay. And now we have, we will have a discussion, the soft discussion about Lucifer. And in scene number five, we will have the appearance of Lucifer. Okay. So now he is saying that I'm not the servant of you, but I'm the servant of Lucifer. Now, Dr. Faustus will, as we said in the first scene, he has lots of things in his mind, he has lots of ambiguous things in his mind, lots of answers, lots of, uh, lots of questions, lots of doubt in his mind, and he wants answer, he's looking for answer for all his doubt. Now, here we have a name, Lucifer, so he was that conversation with Mephistopheles about Lucifer okay. now Victor Faustus okay at the beginning he said okay, so by my incantation I call you I conjure you okay, now here Mephistopheles is saying you know I didn't come because of uh, you but I come accidentally Okay, when we hear that the one person, okay, rock the name of God, okay, it means swear the name of God, he abjure, he abandon the scripture or abandon the holy book, abandon say Jesus Christ who is the savior for Christian people, okay, and when we hear someone, okay, always totally abjure the Trinity, okay, so we come and he called upon the prince of hell so we come to him directly 
Now Dr. Faust has already done this. He's already doing this in his incantation at the beginning of the scene. Okay. And now Dr. Faust is introducing another name. It's Bilzebub. Bilzebub is also another devil and he will come and see in number of five. Bilzebub is the lord of the flies yeah. and he is also one of the followers of Lucifer. Mm. Now they they come I mean here uh, Mephistopheles he come and now Dr. Pavis is already uh, called the spells and already Faust is decayed himself into uh, the word of Lucifer, of Mephistopheles, of Beelzebub and the other devils uh, away from his field or branch of knowledge.